play would be turning 65s or people retiring and coming off group coverage because they'd have to have an election like that to get lasso. lasso. There, you can't use low income subsidy to get lasso. You can't use OEP to get lasso. So lasso is going to be your turning 65 play um, or your retirement play. I think it's a pretty unique scenario, but I messed up this marker. Um, but I will I will go over it and, and I will talk about the AEP play too because you can use this next AEP. But so okay, and, or or even while you're prospecting and you're building your prospect list, for building your prospect list for next AEP starts now. Somebody's paying over two hundred and fifty dollars a month. This market sucks. Need new markers. Somebody's paying over $250 a month for a med sup. There's a play for lasso. Especially if it's not a plan F. Because the new lasso rules have a $2,000 annual deposit and a $5,000 deductible making the total potential out of pocket each year $3,000. If I was selling against this, by the way, I would say those could change annually, those numbers. And it, the, the gap could widen over time if I was selling against it. But if I'm selling for it, $3,000 is the out of pocket, right? $250 a month on a premium times 12 is $3,000. So somebody's paying for a plan F at 250 a month and they get lasso, Worst case scenario is the best case scenario on this on out of pocket. You got me? So they're spending $250 a month on a med sub, and it's a plan F. They're going to be out $3,000. On this one, they're only out $3,000 if they actually incur the medical expenses that, that build them up to $3,000. So there's two people that benefit. This is what I tell every person that I've sold last of this, this year. There's two people that I recommend Lasso to. One is the uber healthy, the uber healthy, uh, you know, T65 person or whatever that is, you know, thinking, you know, I'm, they're probably going to be healthy for several years and they have time for this $2,000 annual deposit to build up. So if you look at that chart, you got 2,000. They say they have $500 expenses a year. So they're netting a $1,500 increase every year. So they get another deposit the next year, it's 2,000. They spend another 500, you know, anyway. So they're basically netting a $1,500 build up in that account every year, roughly. There's a graph that Nolan showed us that day that's in the Lasso stuff on lassohealthcare.com that shows kind of an average buildup of a healthy person over time. But basically, if you're looking at 1,500 times five years of being healthy, what's that in the account? 6, 1,500 times five, 7,500. So that, you know, that's over about five years, they got 7,500, and if their deductible is still 5,000, now they have no out-of-pocket potential in a, in a catastrophic year, and they'd have 2,500 left over. Um, you know, and somebody could even have it longer than that. You, we have clients that go 10, 15 years with no significant health issues. But most of the time, you know, you'd be looking at three to five, then maybe they have something big coming up. Something to look out for with T65s too, by the way, is, um, and this is coming from Medicare supplement companies, they lose a lot of money on people that waited until their Medicare started to get a surgery, like a knee replacement or something like that. And that typically ends up maxing them out real quick on the lasso. So they'll come in that first year, get a knee replacement on the lasso, and they're going to be out the 3000 so a lot of times it might make sense if they're if they're doing that, they're coming in, they're getting cataracts and knee surgery, just get a plan G the first year and then look at changing the last of the year after. You know. 
but that's a lot of strategy involved. Most of the time you're not going to be catering one client through the hurdles of year over year over year changes that way. I mean, unless they're, you know, super needy, a lot of those people that are doing that would just keep the meds up and not worry about it uh, and pay the premium. But the lasso play is, is there for those people who are healthy and have time to build the account value up. The other person would be the person that's paying over 250 a month for their meds up, whether they're healthy or not. Doesn't matter, really. You know, the higher the better. If it's 255 and they're really unhealthy, I might say, hey, just for convenience, I just keep it. But if it's 300, well, now they're losing 600 bucks. So how much is convenience worth to them? It just turns into a math problem, you know. Now, obviously, if they're your client or not, it's probably going to play in. <laughs> so. You know, if they're not your client and they're paying 300 a month, you you know you're gonna probably sell the savings more than if they are your client. That's just the nature of the beast. But um, but that's the play. Now that's not my sales presentation. That's just me trying to tell you that from an agent perspective where it makes sense. And I think the growth plan makes the most sense. There are some really you know aggressive people that are hoping they have some good years and they go for that growth plus plan with the bigger deposit but the bigger potential out of pocket. Um, but if I'm selling it, like during AEP, when I would sell it, it's not that I, I wouldn't go into a presentation selling it. What I would do is look for the situation where it makes sense and then pivot to that sale. Most of the time, for me, this year, it came down to people paying astronomical amounts for their Medicare supplement but not wanting traditional Medicare Advantage with networks and prior authorization and all that stuff. They had, a, they, had a, a, they had a preconceived notion about Medicare Advantage that I did not particularly want to sell against because to some degree I agree with them on some of those things. And so Lasso presents an opportunity to utilize regular Medicare accepting doctors um, you know, no network issues, no, not typically going to use, do any prior authorization, doesn't interrupt your drug coverage, it's not a play on extra dental and vision and all that, it's just a play on economically, it makes more sense for their budget. You know, so, I would just turn, I just turn into a math problem. It's not, uh, you know, if I put that number out there, I say, okay, Mrs. Jones, you're paying 312 a month right now for your supplement. That is, what is that? 312 times 12 is $3,744 a year. And just like you already know, it's probably going to keep going up because it's going it's gone up to get to this point too. Right now you're paying $3,744. There is a way where we can keep you going to your regular doctors and hospitals, not interrupt the drug coverage you have separately and save you $744 a year guaranteed. That's worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. So, and then I and then and then I would, you know, get their interest with that concept and then I would go, you know, lasso healthcare. And the way I I explain lasso healthcare is uh, the name is that it's the it's the administrating company for a Medicare savings account. That's how I kind of explain it. Because they're like, who's Lasso? But it's not a network plan, so you don't have to worry about networks and all that stuff. So, all right, and that's play on Lasso.